we're not in a wormhole. No one is talking like Dirty Harry or Hamlet. Two reappeared this morning with a stomach ache and reeking of Turkish delight. The rolling fog of rotten cheese stench has dissipated along with Le Bichon Frise, and no one is obviously wigging out on mushrooms. It's weird. Everything feels normal. Except two, who needs to learn to pace himself with sweets. Oh, don't say sweets. No, oh, please, don't say sweets. Oh. Do you hear that? Hear what? I don't hear anything. Exactly. No alarms, no faint pings of bits falling off, no distant explosions. I don't like it. Oh, my mama used to sing to me when I felt like this. Oh, did that help? Yeah, it really did. Uh, shame she's not here then. Uh, can everyone sit down and shut up, please? Guys! Hey, guys! Hello? Hello? I'm trying to call a meeting to order here. Crew! Come on, y'all! Crew! Okay, you leave me no choice. Olivia, fire up the aromatherapy. Number 62 with a side of uh, 11. You all feeling cranky. What the hell was that? High school locker room, a side note of corpse flower. Okay, now that I have your attention, we need to discuss a few things. Can we discuss the fact that we passed through two wormholes and we were powerless to do anything about the effects? Can we discuss the fact that our captain just gassed us to get our attention? Yeah, I'm with Julie. Why the hell don't you people pay attention to your captain? That's not really the direction I was going with that. Oh, don't know what you're grossing about. I was four separate theories. Do you have any notion how confusing that was? Also, my throat hurts. I don't know. I found being a gangster rather refreshing. And I found I rather enjoy narrating. Hey, watch it! Hush. Never mind. I'm with you on that one. Oh, the noir wormhole was a hoot. I'm gonna be saucy more often. Is that a promise, lady? <laughs> oh, no. 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 <laughs> My point is, what if we get into a wormhole that turns us all into slugs? You sure that hasn't happened already? Greg does have a point. If we got into the wrong situation, we could get stuck there, and, you know, we need to be in control of our environment. Ah, control schmantrol here, Doctor. Sometimes you just need to see where the experiment takes you. Is there a wormhole that will turn us into slugs? Do you know what Jen does to a slug? What? I thought we were talking about a wormhole. 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 I thought we were Captain, not to be rude, but may we move on? Some of us have places to be. We do? What places? Well, we're exploring the caves in Pippi's bunk. Uh, there's a, a species of lichen yeah, yeah, in there that, that warrants uh, further research. I'm sorry, I dozed off. Yes, if we could get to move on. Some of us have lives, you know? <laughs> we don't... <laughs> Don't yeah, on that point, could I ask everyone to please update the privacy settings on your bunk monitors? I mean, oh, six rounds of gangsters and moles is more than any AI should be forced to witness. Yes, thank you, Olivia. Captain? I'm trying. Right, we'll get to the wormhole business in a minute. But right now, I want to discuss side quests and also our zombie problem. Mm. Not zombies, and uh, also not necessarily a problem. Maybe you would like to run this meeting. Uh, yes, actually, if I... Too bad. Uh, oh. Someone is approaching. Big part. Ten points to Goldie Pants. There's another vessel out there, and it's coming up right quick. Hang on, what the hell is that? Oh! 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 What the hell was that? Oh! It's just my soda bottle again, Julie. Oh! 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 my god! Oh! 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 We appear to be under attack. Raising the shields. Oh, we probably ought to bring in the figurehead. Head. Stations, everyone! Move! Move! 
Move! Livia, looks like damage. Oh, he took a bit of a whack to levels four through nine, but uh, shields are holding steady. Do we have stations? I don't have a station! Captain! Jesus! Even under attack, huh? Good to know. They seem to be concentrating their attack on the lower levels. Copy that. What's down there they might want to target? What's my station? Bartender, sweetie, we're gonna need you. Right. Why is there a bar on the bridge? Uh, how about you grab the comms, Julie? Right. Point at it for me. It's over there. No, it's over there. Uh, whatever. See if you can figure out how to hail the ship. Joel was right. The missiles are definitely concentrated on our lower decks. I'll head down there and see if I can figure out what's so interesting. Maybe even a plot. Okay, but suit up. Full gear. And be careful. If it gets too hairy, get back up here. I will, I will. Sheesh. What are you, my sister? Ah! Ah! Good lord. What weapons capabilities do we have? Yeah, the weapons manual is in Old Norse. Uh, oh, well, I have a smattering of Old Norse. I can give it a look. Seriously? Oh, okay. It's propping up the snack table in the old crew room. Follow the doors. Shield at 48%. Captain, I have a lock on our attacker, bringing the ship up on screen. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. You know, I once had to snake out my shower drain. Uh, please, don't finish that sentence. Righty ho. Still, he had a little bit of fall. Uh, I'm begging you. Hanging. I thought I was doing that. Ah, different kind. I can calculate distance with sub-centimeter accuracy. Even from inside the ship? Yep. Oh. They're close. Sub-centimeter accuracy and we get they're close? I don't know space distances. They're like half a mile. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, there is a number here on, on this screen. Any luck on the comms? I think I'm saying something to them, but I don't know what. Order up. First round's on me. Julie? Kinda busy here. I need more drinks. Fine. Rum and coke, please. I need more complicated drinks. Oh, I'll have a commonwealth. 71 ingredients? Oh, that'll keep him busy. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a very large dumbbell. Ooh, weapons woman. I'm waiting for Pluto to translate the manual. Just push a button and see what happens. You're not serious. And it is flashing. Push a button. Right, I choose this one. Push a different one. Not put too fine a point on it, but shields are at about uh, 11. And the 778 is still out there? Bring them in. Ironically, we could use some extra hands. Can't we trust them? Uh, not much choice at the moment. Bring them in. And Olivia can the music. It's quite an alarmingly large number. <laughs> Flashing very fast now. Should I push something else? Uh, you're at the comm station, Julie. I know that, but I'm just a botanist. Huh. Trying another one now. Mm. What happened? Oh. Looking on screen. Mm. <gasps> we fired at them. <gasps> Excellent. Any damage? A negative. Apparently we fired a bowl of petunias at them. Why is that even an option? 778 is in, if anyone cares, which I don't. Uh, shields at nine. We're gonna take much more. <gasps> we can't take much more of this, Captain. Oi! Do you mind, Captain? Jesus! The uh, lower decks are still sealed, but they've taken a lot of damage. Not sure how much longer the hold will, um, hold. But we have to figure out what they want. Dr. Theo is right. Oh, thank you, my love. Well, I mean, you're, you're clearly the smartest person on the ship, and no one ever listens oh. to you. <laughs> Stop the gooey stuff, or I'll flood both your bunks with pudding. Mm. I'm pretty sure I'm sending out messages, but if they're responding, I'm not sure I'd recognize Any that. idea what they're after, Joe? Uh, yeah, there's there's not a lot down here. No weapons I can see, but there's a lot of ground to cover, uh, and I'll let you know if I find anything. Oh, hey, my gum. Captain, I've managed a rough translation of the introduction. Please don't tell me you've spent all this time on the acknowledgments. I'll let that go for the moment. Would you like to hear what I've discovered? Oh, please, he who is immoral. Immortal. Take all the time in the world. No, no, no. Take all the time in the universe. Ah. Ah. 
Ah, uh, yes, yes, I agree with the captain here. Can we, can we speed this up a tad? No need to get touchy. The main gist of the manual is Eki Aftur, or Ei Aftur. Meaning? Not again. I think it may have something to do with the petunias. It's a very thick book for just two words. I didn't say I translated it all. Shields at negative two. One commonwealth. I'll try not to spill. Who's next? <sighs> not bad. A bit busy. For God's sake, woman! Use a coaster! Right? Alright. Activating defense systems. I beg your pardon? What were you waiting for? I'm sorry. Did anyone else hear the faint sound of someone questioning my decisions? How can our shields be at negative two? Are we just tanning over pieces of the hull now? Firing glass cannons! If Julie approves, that is. Oh, for... I'm sorry. Fire! Please! Ooh! This number! She just got much smaller. Someone order a cocktail, damn it. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay, okay. I'll take a fat wash to Mezcal. Oh, is that the one that uses fat drippings from pork ribs? Slow cooked pork ribs. And it has to sit overnight. That's disgusting. For time concern. The, uh, the number is still going down, but slowly now. Did we take out their guns? Oh, oh that was a big oh. one. Oh. <laughs> Well, at least somebody will answer my questions. It's just your voice is so sweet and calming. I suspect that's the reason no one hears you. Yeah, okay, uh, I am seeing some cracks. Uh, also, can we keep the gushy stuff off the comm system? One genre at a time, please. Sealing off the aft section of level four. That's great, Olivia, but you want to wait till I'm out of here first? Mm, best hope it, mate. You got about 30 seconds, then I'm shutting you in. You know, I think I recognize that chair. Oh, for God's sake! Does anyone understand the urgency here? Gosh, dear, you're very shouty today. Hmm? Now, I have a vague notion. What do you remember? Very astute question, Doctor. <laughs> well, I was inspired by your question, actually. <gasps> Were you? That's so adorable. Well, you're adorable. Oh. oh please, <laughs> I'm already nauseated from falling all over the bridge. Look, just. Uh, thinking, Julie, uh, those books Ben retrieved from the showatorium, do you still have them? Oh, uh, no. No, no, we, we got rid of those. Not the pawn, dear. The other ones. Oh, then yes. Right. There was one with an orange cover. Do you know the one I mean? Yes, uh, we use it to prop up a table in our bunk. You'd think the people who built this ship could build a simple table. Why would we think that? Yeah. Fair. Colin, fly to Julie's bunk and get that book. I'm busy. Captain. Jesus! Colin! Fine. Julie, any chance you have eight guajillo chilies squirreled away in there? I think we might. Check the refrigerator. Right. Excellent. Back in a tick. You have guajillo chilies? No, but I do speak Colin. Clever girl. Shields at negative 14. I really do have to ask. Don't. Mission accomplished. You actually had guajillo chilies. I, uh... Let's move on. The book, Mrs. S. Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right. Oh, oh. 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 You can't take much more, Captain. How long have you been waiting to say that? Ages. I'd have said it sooner, but Shifty Sheffield jumped in. Look, just because you're Scottish, don't you? Oh. Oh. I don't wish to rush you, my dear, but there is some urgency now. All right. Yes, yes, here it is. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Excellent. Are they friendly? Anyone need more peanuts? Pretzels? I could possibly chase down some salt and vinegar crisps. Right. I couldn't oh. able. Do you have any Mike and Ike? I can do you a Mike and Ike daiquiri. Make it a double. These numbers are holding steady. Oop, nope. Just drop my one. Shield at negative 27. Should we just invite them over for snacks and total surrender? I thought you said they were friendly. They're pinging us. I don't see anything on the comm screen. Not that kind of pinging. My kind of pinging. Yes, yes, I see that. Here, the Kistokalians have advanced echolocation capabilities. Uh, right, hang on. Uh, as an exceptionally affectionate race, they are, unfortunately, the Bugle Galaxies. Oh, were you aware we'd entered the Bugle Galaxy, Captain? I, I do wonder why it's called that. Pause you? about we chase that one up later, okie dokie. Ah, oh, no time for intellectual curiosity. Very well. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, they are, unfortunately, the Bugle Galaxy's equivalent of a seven-year-old boy on the playground, as they show their interest by picking on the object of their affections. Hmm. Uh, one of the most misunderstood races in the galaxy, they have become increasingly isolated as inter- and intra-galaxy travel has ramped up. Well, well it's probably why their echolocation skills are so developed. No one's let them get close in centuries. Oh, how incredibly insightful. Aww. Why, thank you. That's it. Butterscotch or banana? I beg your pardon? Uh, your pudding. Butterscotch or banana? Now you've done it. <laughs> One fat-washed mezcal. No, 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 that's not possible. That takes literally days. Not with laser eyes, it doesn't. Mike and Ike Daiquiri coming up. Uh, you gonna drink that? Not on a bet. The aliens? Whatever are you so worked up about? Hmm? I mean, they're friendly. Did you not hear me just say that? They're being affectionate. Then piss them off! This is not a bad idea. Firing at them doesn't work. I think they mean it is flirting. Send Jessie over. She makes everyone angry. Oh, it may be on to something. Watch it. Also, thank you. What do you say, Mad Pants? This is my kind of diplomacy. True. But what if they hurt you or, or kill you? That's just it. They won't. They'd only hurt her if they liked her. And I think we've established that's not likely. Oi. Also, thank you. Captain! Oh, still alive, I see. Uh, yeah. Thanks for making me do limbo under the door. Oh, quit grumbling. You only look slightly less three-dimensional. Timmy's plan does have a rare sort of genius to it. Come on, boss. What you say? I say... <sighs> assemble an away team. You can go, but not alone. You'll need to take the most objectionable folks we've got. Too bad we lost the bitch and freeze. Right, okay. So, no Dr. Theo. Uh, probably not Julie. Probably? Well, the 778 can go. Yes, good one, good one. Not enough, though. We can't trust them. Need one more. Mike and Ike Daiquiri. What? Hmm. With the shields at negative 30 and dwindling, the crew rushed to get the away team ready. On the Oz-9, ready is a generous term. Actually, it's just wildly inaccurate. Let me, uh, let me lube up those seals for you. Is that ski wax? It's all I can find. You're not serious. It'll hold. You're trying to be as unattractive to them as possible. Whatever you do, don't hit anyone. They'll probably ask you to marry them. And remember, sticks and stones may break your bones. Yes, that'll do for the pep talk. Thank you. So what do we do? What would you do on a playground? Hide behind the teacher, naturally. <laughs> or fart the bully off with my lunch money. Or a Rolex. Uh, uh, I'm noticing a distinct lack of offensive and uh, defensive mechanisms here. That is not per protocol. They are sending us to our deaths, dear. The hell they are. Well, in this case, your natural defenses should be plenty. Just, uh, be yourselves. Okay, I, I think I pinged to them that someone's coming over. Yeah, but there's a lot of chatter all of a sudden. I really don't want to do this. You're the only one with weapons no system can detect. Plus, you're ornery. Will I ever cease to regret that cursed Ollie? Ah, hell. Did we fall back into the Shakespeare wormhole? Nah, he's just pretentious. I heard that. Oh, sorry. Uh, go you. They've opened an airlock. It looks like they're expecting company. You got the gift? The loaves of boldy katsu bread and used birthday wrapping paper. <laughs> That'll bring the boys to the end. Genius. Oh, just an idle inspiration. <laughs> These two are making me nauseous. Let's go. Okay, Jesse, you've done this before, so like last time, use the vent on your spacesuit for propulsion. The two of you will tow the 778 between you. Oh, and Jesse? Uh, <laughs> no peeing? Oh, for Christ's sake. Open the damn door, Olivia. You promised to tow us back again, correct? Don't you worry there, Tater Tat. I got it in writing. Where did I put that writing? Helmet's on. Closing the interior hatch. Right. Opening the airlock. What is it? What? What is it? They're fighting us! What is that? You're joking. What? Candy Valentine Heart. This one says, hang on, will you be mine? That never sounded so ominous before. You've 
never heard it before. Sure, yeah. <laughs> All right, you two, get moving. I don't want them to start firing on the Oz-9 again. Right. Call it. You ready? Not at all. Lead the way, Captain. Aren't you going to say former Captain? No. Not this time. And so, Jesse, Colin, and the 778 make their way towards the hairy, matted, Kestokalian ship, its airlock yawning open just in front of them. The alien's guns have stopped for the moment, giving the Oz-9 much needed time to assess the damage. But if they should start up again... What will become of the away team? Will they be greeted with the hostility and antipathy they hope for? Or will they be quite literally killed with kindness? Tune in next time, Space Monkeys, when you might or might not get the answer. Uh, but probably not. Probably, as Two says, not. You've been listening to... Shannon Perry as Madeline and Olivia. Chrissy Talon Sage as Julie, Kevin Hall as Greg, Bonnie Brantley as Jesse and Donna, Tim Sherburn as Colin and Emily, Lee Shackelford as Pluto, David S. Deer as Dr. Theo Brome, Eric Perry as Dr. Von Habesetzer, Howard and Joe, Sarah Golding as Mrs. Sheffield, Sarah Ray Werner as Pipistro. I'm Kyle Jones as Narrator 2. And I'm Chris Nadolny Gorley as your narrator. John Faley is our music director, and our awesome artwork is by Lucas Elliott. Oz9 is scribbled down on some paper somewhere by Shannon Perry. Sarah Golding is our di- dial- dialogue, ed- dialogue, ed- dialogue editor, and Shannon Perry is our sound designer. <laughs> Oz9 is a proud member of the Fable and Folly Network. Please check out our sibling shows at fableandfolly.com and support our sponsors. Hey, you know, I feel better. Great. Want some Turkish delight? Oh, gross. Why do you gotta be so mean? On someone else, this would be mean. On me, it's charming. <laughs> Whatever. See you next time, Space Monkeys. Till then, keep your eyes on the stars, especially if they start firing on you. Lights!